Hi guys. So in this lesson, I'll show you how to download the CentOS 7. That's the operating system we are going to install on the VirtualBox. So go to Google and just type download CentOS 7. The first result, download CentOS, you can click on this one and just click on this DVD ISO. So what exactly is this ISO file? See, our virtual machines, uh, they do not have a CD drive. Let's take, uh, if I want to install an operating system on my laptop, what I will do is I'll insert a, a CD into the CD drive and then maybe I can boot it up from there. But with the virtual machines, the issue is we don't have a CD drive. So what we do is we have an ISO files. These are the mm, images of our CD drives. So these images we will feed into the virtual machine and rather than a physical disk we can use this ISO images which are nothing but a same copy of your CD disk. So using this ISO image the virtual machine will be boot up uh, I mean we'll be booting up the virtual machine using this ISO images and then we'll install the CentOS onto the virtual machine. Now once you are onto this page, there are actually a lot of links over here. You can click on any link and it will start downloading the CentOS software. So because I already have the software on my system, I'm not going to download, but you can eventually click on any link and it, the download should start. One more reason to use CentOS for this course is CentOS is actually open source software. So it's like there's no license required. You can just download and practice your Linux learnings. Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be talking about how are we going to install the CentOS on this newly created virtual machine, which we created in our previous session. So basically, what we need to do is the uh, ISO file, which we have downloaded, we actually need to feed that ISO file into this virtual machine and then we start this virtual machine. What we, what you need to do is just right click, go to settings and these are actually the system level settings. Uh, I mean, going forward in the course, you will understand a lot of other settings over here because we'll be increasing the RAM, decreasing the RAM, we'll be adding a new hard disk, we'll be adding a new network card and other administration stuff. For now, what we, you need to do is go to storage and in the storage, you can see this is the controller. You can see this is a CD disk, right? Nothing but this is a CD drive, but it's a virtual CD drive. It's not your um, physical CD drive. Of course, uh, like on our system, we can definitely connect our physical CD drive to this machine and even we can use it. But you have to understand that on the servers, you generally don't have CD drives. So you'll have to work with the ISO files and that's, that's the reason I am also walking you through the ISO files. So what we need to do is uh, over here we have optical drive. So click on this icon and it will ask you uh, or you can actually locate a file. You can see choose virtual optical disk file, nothing but your ISO file. So because I have earlier also used CentOS a lot of times to install, this is already listed over here. So if I click on this one, it will automatically select the CentOS ISO file. Now in your case, what you need to do is click over here, choose this option, okay? Choose virtual disk image and then navigate to your CentOS operating system ISO file wherever you have downloaded. So once this is done, click on OK and we are all done. Now what you need to do is just fire up the start button and the CentOS installation part will start. Now the virtual machine is reading from the ISO file and it will start installing the CentOS 7. So you just click inside the virtual machine and hit enter. So one more thing guys, once you click inside the virtual machine, the mouse pointer will not come out of the virtual machine. On your keyboard, you have to press the right control key. Okay, now if you see, I'm pressing the right control key and the mouse pointer is now out, out of the virtual machine. You can even see this corner, right control. This tells you which key you have to press in order to bring the 
mouse pointer out of the virtual machine. So click inside now you can see it is checking something. Uh, it is actually checking the disk. We can press escape to abort the check. So I'm pressing the escape because I don't want anything to be checked. The ISO file is fine. And we just want to proceed with the installation of the CentOS 7. The installation is very simple when compared to the uh, earlier uh, earlier versions of the CentOS like CentOS 5 or 6. Uh, this is very simple and straightforward. So what I'll do is I'll go for a full screen mode because it will be easy. So choose this option. We'll go with the default English language. Continue. And these are the options that we need to set and then we can directly install the CentOS. Now we have date and time. This will be automatically picked up. We have keyboard automatically picked up. Language support. We have already selected English. Now installation source would be, uh, I mean, that's the um, local media. You can even click on this one. Okay, it will tell that from where it is going to install. So you have to do nothing. You can see it is picking up from your ISO file, right? And software selection. In this software selection, we have to make some changes. On the left-hand side, make sure you select this server with GUI interface because we need the GUI interface. So if you go with minimal installation, then you just get the character base based interface. But we need a GUI interface. And on the right side, you can scroll down and you have last four options. Uh, I mean, you just select the compatibility library, development tools. These two are mandatory. And let me just check which one did we, or which one we should select. I think that should be fine. And then click on done. Once uh, the software selection is done, and next we need to click on this installation destination. This is where, you know, the CentOS 7 is smart. It will automatically configure the partitioning for you. But in case if you are an advanced uh, Linux user, then you can configure your own partitioning as well. You can select this option. I will configure my own partitioning and click on done. It will take you to a partitioning screen. But as we are not learning CentOS administration, we are focusing on to the virtual box. So I'll go with automatically configure partitioning. We'll use the automatic partitioning. It's okay. And then you have KDump. KDump is enabled. Now, sometimes when you're working with Oracle or any other software, you have to disable the KDump. So for now, I'm just disabling it. Then click on this network and host name. Over here, you can define the network and host name for this machine. So I'll assign a host name, my sent OS, right? That's the host name I want to give. And network, you can enable the network. And then you can click on this configure button to allocate an IP address to this virtual machine. So what I'll do is I'll cancel this network setup right now because that is something we will do it manually once the installation is done. So just click on done and you click on this option begin installation. It will simply start installing the CentOS. Meanwhile, you can set the root user password, click on root password, and I'll give it as root at the rate one to three. Sorry, root at the rate one to three, root at the rate one to three, because this is a test machine, click on done. So you'll have to click on done two times because it's a very weak password. Over here, you can also create a new user, which is not required or not mandatory at this point of time. So we'll just leave it and we have to wait until the CentOS installation is completed. Great guys, you can see the CentOS installation is done. So what you need to do is just click inside this virtual machine and it will actually reload the virtual machine. So let me go to the full screen mode and click on this reboot button. It will not reboot your Windows operating system, don't worry, it will only reboot the virtual machine, right? 
So you can see the virtual machine is being rebooted. So it will restart the virtual machine and automatically the CentOS uh, startup screen will come up where we have to set up one or two uh, settings and then our CentOS installation will be done. So you can see the CentOS 7 OS is being started on the virtual machine. So the installation part is done and we are not worried about the ISO file now. It will always pick it up from the CentOS operating system. Yeah, it's one and the same CentOS. So don't worry, every time it won't prompt you to install the CentOS. You can just leave the ISO file the way it is in the virtual machine settings. Uh, where exactly it is. Can you see if you go to system, it reads from the optical disk and then it reads from the hard disk. But even though optical disk is first, uh, still it's okay. It will automatically pick it up from the hard disk. So now this is the post installation steps. So we have just a couple of steps. Uh, click on this license information, accept the license agreement, click on done. Network and host name, host name we have already set. So just click on this finish configuration. This should bring up the CentOS GUI interface for us. Yes. So we can now say that the CentOS installation is perfectly done. Still I think there will be a setup wizard we need to click on few options here yeah. so over here uh, these are simple options it will ask you to choose the language click on next uh, you can go with the default again English and then you can choose your own time zone so I would go with India I think anything anywhere in India would be the same so click on next. Now you can also connect your online accounts but I would like to skip for now. Then it will actually force you to create at least one user because um, the CentOS 7 version even though you have the root user after the installation it will force you to create a at least one user. So I will mention it as Arun Kumar. Username is Arun Kumar and click on next. It will ask you the password. So I'll put it as Arun at the rate one two three. Then click next. We are all done. Now you can click on start using CentOS Linux. The CentOS 7 desktop will appear right now. Hopefully it should come up. Okay it's coming. So this is the desktop and by default once you uh, log in for the first time it will give you getting started this is a help screen I'll just go ahead and close this one this is your CentOS 7 desktop so in this lesson what we have seen is like post installation steps for the CentOS operating system